Hello, one and all. Welcome to Geek Eclectic. I'm Stu. I'm Mustache Rubbin. And we are joined by a special guest tonight. One of our lead contributors when we actually get the gaming portion going. He's going to be one of the most, uh, let's be honest, boisterous of all of our uh, content providers. Mostly because you'll be hearing him breaking things. Mr. Yeah. Colin Keane. And you know, I actually do not have Tourette's. Let me throw that out there. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it's, a good, it's good that we're getting that out there before anything else. Um, God bless anyone that does have it. But hi, everybody. Colin Keane, man of many <laughs> That's words all I gotta right say. there. <laughs> That's Less all I gotta say is more, that. I say. Less is more. So, Stu, what you got going on today? Uh, well, I had work today, uh, and we had Chipotle. Chipotle. We had Chipotle catered Which at work. I, I always say no to this. And I just, I got so fucking sick, man. Stu has, what, the last four times you've gone to Chipotle, gotten like almost violently ill. Didn't South Park have a thing about the Chipotle? Chipotle, Chipotle away. <laughs> 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 like you have like shitty, <laughs> you have like bloody underwear or something. How, how to get the spray out? Or there was like a spray or something. Well, I, you know, I, it wasn't like that. I just had like. I had like really bad stomach cramps, like really bad pains, dude. It was it was awful. It felt like a demon was like squeezing my stomach, and it was not gonna stop. Now here, I don't. Chipotle is good. I mm-hmm. think ever, most people would agree that. Yeah. You ever notice you go there and there's always a huge line? I mean. Yeah. No, it's out the fucking door. Just, it's it's good, but it's not that good. That's yeah. Good. It's not waiting line good. It. If you go there around a, a designated meal time, yeah. an American feed time, if you will. Yeah. Oh, whenever I drive home, I pass by a Chipotle. It's almost out the fucking door. And I, I just, I just don't, I don't. At six o'clock? Yeah. Oh. I don't understand. And then you got fucking Qdoba, which I don't give a fuck. I say it's better. I love, I love Qdoba. I say Qdoba's better. It, it's almost dead all the time. Here's a business plan. Why doesn't Chipotle become more like Taco Bell and have that late night shit? How, when you're smoking. It would make so much how, bank. Oh, yeah. For sure. How much would you love to go to Chipotle instead of Taco Bell? At a, I mean, Taco Bell does a good job, but mm-hmm. I'd, I'd still go to Taco Bell. You go for the Dorito sauce taco. No, I'm going for my chicken quesadilla. The fucking chicken you quesadilla. You go for your fucking Dorito loco taco. You just want to go to you just want to go to Taco Bell so you can speak in a British accent. Yes, I do. Hello, ho, hello there, love. Uh, can I get a Dorito sauce taco? <laughs> oh my god, and he always does it. Every time. Now that we're older, Taco Bell takes the role of that walk of shame. Instead of waking up in the morning next yeah. to somebody, it's you eat Taco Bell the next the morning. You just feel like a piece of you see him laying in the trash. You're like, oh fuck, oh, no. what the I fuck did I just do? That's how many of those fucking things did I eat? <laughs> <laughs> the last like four times I've had Taco Bell, it's been like, yeah. oh dude, you oh. last. I think I was with you one of those last yeah. times, and. I left my wallet in your car. You got four or five bean burritos. Jesus Christ. Four or five. I'm sitting there with one chicken quesadilla, and you... No, no, no. I got two chicken quesadillas, (laughs) and you smashed one of the quesadillas accidentally. And you're like, oh, fuck, didn't I get one? I was like, no, it's fine. He's like, oh, man, I feel so bad. (laughs) You smashed five bean burritos and a quesadilla. I think I talked you out of one of your quesadillas one time too. I, I, no, I was sitting there trying to get you to eat the fucking now, were you, thing. I was like, I'm now, not were you having sma- to. Were you smashed or were you just like really hungry? I was driving. Both. Let's put it that way. Both. Okay. I was driving. One of the last. So times I was gonna say. I gotta be so- off this son of a bitch. At like, God, it had to be like, a one o'clock in the morning, and you're like, dude, what are you doing? I'm like, driving home right now. Why? What's going on? You all right? I don't know. I'm like, I'm sitting there going like, he's calling at one o'clock. Something's up. He's like, yeah. dude. Let's go get Taco Bell. I'm like, all right, sure. The fuck, I'm, I'm getting off at Clegg. Why, I'm getting off at Columbia. Why not? I'll turn around a little bit. Oh shit! Nothing, nothing good happens after midnight, especially fucking Taco Bell. Oh Jesus, dude. Oh, I'm. I know. I've. Renee has looked into trash, and she's just been like, "What happened Stuart? last night?" I was just like, "What happened last night?" Stuart, what'd you do? Oh, unspeakable things. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I had Chipotle today and it just gave me the worst fucking stomach ache and I felt like I was gonna die. I had no relief, no Pepto, nothing. I was just I braved through it, man. I, I there's zero zero productivity today. I did jack shit. See, I, I because I was sitting at my desk, I was like, get mm. some Pepto at that point. I just I've been I, like, fuck this. I'd have been I'd have walked out like I, I Iron Man this shit. I, from retirement. 
<laughs> it's going like I'm gonna drink out of Pepto and then get my rum oh. out. I Iron Man that shit, so I don't know. But that fucking sucks. So that, that's like what's my day to day, Mr. Just being in misery. <laughs> I need the Chipotle away. I like, oh I told, the best part was I'm sitting there telling him, I'm like, I right hear just take, like, a, take an Alka Seltzer, like it's a, a, drop it like it's an acid tab, dropping, and fucking just go, in, uh, just go chug some Pepto. I'm telling you, that's where I go with the seltzer water. You, yeah. Well, okay, really well. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. But don't get the flavored crap. That's the worst. Just get the I, can't, I was going to say, I can't, do, I can't do flavor. No. Get the normal shit and add can't a do fucking that. bit of fruit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's I mean that was my day today. Colin, what did you, you do, guys? I worked. Um pretty uneventful day, actually. It was uh blisteringly cold. It was a balmy Oh my god. Three degrees, I believe, with a fifteen mile an hour wind. It was nice. That was the nice. listeners, I get in and out of my car all day, walk in convenience stores, make sure they have camel cigarettes on the rack, and then yeah. I go to the next door. But of course I'm supposed to do more than that. <laughs> Dude, that fucking sucks. Get out. Oh. It's fucking wicked today, too, dude. But I'm not complaining. It's Cleveland, baby. That's what you get. It's true. What about you, Nick? What about you? What are you doing? Uh, I've, I've been prepping for class again. It's boring. So, like, how are you prepping? This is Geek Eclectic. I'm, re- I'm reading ahead. <laughs> I'm reading ahead of where we are at the moment. What are you, so what are you reading at the moment? Uh, right now, I'm rereading the pain chapter in association with orth- orthostatic conditions. It sucks. You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> what the it fuck is that? It was not while I was kissing. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Now, earlier, before we started this, we were talking about vacation. What, have you been to Serbia? I have not. I would love to go, though. We're going next but, like, time. But I is feel... safe? I don't know. Maybe I'm a little... Yeah, nope. I don't know. I feel stupid asking. Is it? <sighs> nope. I would imagine maybe in some places. I'd imagine uh, yeah, overall I mean, probably not. You know, I mean, you got you got every, oh, in a, Cleveland's dangerous. Yeah, you know. going the east. You know, we, there's areas that you don't go in fucking Cleveland. I go. You know, you're not gonna come back. Nick, I would love to see you go in those areas and pick a fight with some people. I'm gonna pick a fight. <laughs> no. Nick, all right, Nick, you go on the east. You go uh, which street? East yeah. Go on, <laughs> Nick. Go on East 55th. We have <laughs> stand on the corner. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> we had a friend oh, yeah. who kicked Nick last, was that two weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. Kicked Nick in the head, Helena with the... Oh, yeah. She tried. She got you, though. She connected. She, close. she connected, she though, right? She kicked the head. I told her she was going to hit the shoulder. She hit the fucking yeah. shoulder. You did allowed that, it, though. I mean, I was surprised. Did that chub you up, care. man? Did that chub you up a little bit, Nick? No. That a woman could hit that hot? You're like, oh, yeah. No, I, I, know <laughs> I know women that can hit much higher. I know women that can kick much higher. Oh, like Britney? Oh, Britney could, Britney could go straight splits and vertically. Oh, my God. You know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> so, do, do, oh, do. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so. Maybe you guys have covered this. Did you? You got the PS4 for Christmas. I got a PS4 yeah, for Christmas, yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah. I haven't gotten mine yet. I'm looking to get the one, but I've seen the benefits of both. What games do you have? I only have one right now. And that's the Call of Duty I saw. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yes. And um, I did a little recording of it, just playing around with it. And um, it's not bad. And as What's I said... What's your KD, bro? Do you have a two? <laughs> oh, Are you a camper? <laughs> oh, every, a camper. Everybody's going to watch this video and be like, this guy's a fucking noob. And yeah, I am. I don't give a shit. I, t- I say in the video that I'm fucking bad. So deal, so, so deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. I have limited not, experience with it, but it was only yeah. on the PS3, and it was yeah. that co-op mode or whatever. Yeah. I like the zombies, you know, but it was those zombies. the survival I'll, mode or whatever it's called. Co-op, uh, exo co-op. Yeah, but, those are a lot, a little bit more fun. The, the sometimes sometimes they can get boring if you're doing you know the zombies. They can get monotonous. Yeah, uh, this is actually kind of fun. It almost feels like a multiplayer almost. Okay, but. Um, yeah, I, I I think I like it a lot more. I like the controller. The controller is a lot better. It's a little bit more. I don't know. It, it there's such a difference between the PS3 and the PS4 controller. It's a little bit more comfortable, uh, almost like the Xbox one. Molds yeah, your hand. I, I love it a little it. better. Every, every so far, uh, every person that we were sitting there going like, all right, we'll go we'll go with Xbox. It'll be great. Has gotten a PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, I have a well, feeling I'm talking like I'm gonna get an I've, Xbox. And I've I'm heard a PlayStation. I'm getting that feeling. Well, I've heard too a lot of you. people say. I've heard a lot I of people. Know I want Halo. 
I've heard a lot of people say that the Xbox is more good for entertainment and the PS4 seems to be more geared towards the gaming. That's what I've heard right. from some people. Right. Well, I don't other, know. And the other thing is, and I don't know how true it is anymore either, but... Um, Xbox has Halo, goddammit. Xbox has Halo. The yeah. networking and the whole online um, Xbox Live versus PlayStation network. Oh, yeah. Xbox beats every time. Well, that's yeah. what I thought was the... Pay. I, I guess it's... Pretty even now. Is yeah. It? I don't know. You have to pay for both now. Well, yes. I don't pay for anything. You do. Oh, you don't pay for online play for. Pay- oh, no. no, I'm wrong. I'm not paying. I don't pay for anything, man. I don't pay for anything. <laughs> He says today. You know, uh, I don't. I didn't enter any. I didn't enter any. Because we're supposed to be talking like we're geeks and we don't know shit. Here. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you listen to the show, you already know by now that. <laughs> that Nick knows things. Oh no, <laughs> Nick doesn't know shit. <laughs> Nick, I don't pay for anything. I swear. Maybe Unless there's somebody out there that... Trial? Maybe it's a free trial? No. Could be. Hang on. No. Uh, no, I have... It's never asked me for a credit card or anything at the beginning when I set up. Maybe you have to... I mean, I, I think it has to do with PS Plus. That It's the same as PS3 that I've run across. You only have to pay yeah. for a subscription fee right. or something. But I, I haven't paid anything. Well, when deciding between the two, it's it's tough. They're both. It seems I've seen them both play yeah. a couple of games on both. I only play shooters, for the record. I usually only mess with first person shooters. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, it's your personal preference. You have to try the the console out, and if you like it, you can go for it. But I, I pretty much have go with what's comfortable. It came out. I was obsessed. I played Call of Duty like crazy. MW two, in my opinion, was the best. And I then, still have that game. That's great. Happened, one. With with the PlayStation Three when it finally was hacked or whatever it was, yeah, that game got screwed over harder than any. It oh, still yeah. is. I think it's still based. You still put the game in. You might be able to get a death match. Yeah, we've done it a few times. Yeah, sometimes you can get some games, but it's still yeah. you know, and that was disheartening. And then went over to MW Three because it was the closest. I hated the Black Ops series. Yeah, I thought those games. I like the zombies I, portion. It's like the you know Battle or um, Call of Duty. I feel like they split their crowd. I feel like yeah. when they came out with Battlefield, they just cannibalized. They just took half of the people because. You mean Black Ops? Or yeah, that's what I keep I keep saying. Well, don't two different com- don't two different Battlefield. don't two different companies make? We are, <laughs> we are you. Pat is that you? We were Pat Benatar's in my basement right now. Love is a battlefield. Hey Pat, how you doing? Good. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like they split. They split. They split, their, they split their fan base because yeah. there, it seemed like well, after that. Because I, I hated Black Ops. I bought the first one. I'll never buy another. I'll never play yeah. another one. It was garbage to me. It just was sticky. and I, It's just like almost a different game. Well, don't two different companies make each game? Like, there's a company that well, makes yeah. Black was, Ops, and there's Activision one. And Aha! And Treyarch or something? Aha! Or something? It's tr- Treyarch's one of them. But hang on before Black I Ops interrupt Nation. you too far much. Uh, too, too, too much. Uh, PlayStation 4, you require PlayStation Plus yeah. for online play. For I've online played, play, which I, means... If I want to do online multiplayer. If you want to do online multiplayer, that's $15 a month. I haven't done that yet. 15 a month? That's not reasonable. Agreed. I guess, what was it, 60? What was Xbox Live when it was... It was like five? 60 a year? Yeah, it was like 60 a year. Really? Yeah, that's that's a bit steep. Oh. Well, for what it is, I mean, that's, that's steeper than I'd like to pay. Ooh. Same here. But... I see. I haven't done multiplayer yet, so I guess I guess that's wow. I played a few death matches on it on the new, but again, it was on PS3. Yeah, it was it was okay. I don't no, know. Owen's got the I fucking wasn't... thing. And he plays online. How how have we not asked him yet? Not this. He doesn't have the Call of Duty. He plays Battlefield. But he I'm plays on. But he plays online multiplayer. Online. Oh yeah. Well, dude, everybody can ask. Rowan has it. Yeah. Okay. Somebody has an answer Rowan out there. Rowan would have the answer. You guys <laughs> need to get Rowan on here because he can talk yeah. anything: gaming, computer. Even well, I a want lot to, of the fantasy, all that stuff. Well, I, I got I Skype, go I have Skype stuff. figured out, so I'm gonna we'll, we'll have some uh, future shows. We'll get uh, I know Hansi wants to be on it. We'll get oh, yeah. we'll get Hansi Ruane on here. Be a gold mine, yeah. Especially if you go down the wrestling route or anything artistic. Oh yeah, Hansi, we're gonna get you on the show. Calling you out, big guy. I'm calling you out. Oh yeah, sky's the limit. The Duke. Oh yeah. <laughs> Elbow drop off the top. A little shout out to Hansi. We were just up there. He's got a nice new house in Milwaukee. Yeah. He's a good buddy of ours. He lives in Cleveland. And hopefully moving back. Happy New Year, buddy. Hopefully moving back soon. He's got this dog. He's got this little puppy. It looks like it's a baby German Shepherd. What's his name? Hino? Yeah, Hino. Hino. 
awesome. I love. What him. is? It's not. It's not a German Shepherd. No, it's like a. Cro- it's like a mix. Yeah, he's a mix. Yeah, yeah. Mutt. A Mutt, if you will. But yeah. he's awesome. Mutt. Um, and I asked him. I said, "What's Heino from?" And I guess Heino was a German singer. Really? I don't know the era. He probably still sings. And it's I just know. a strange. Like, you got to look him up. Heino like a Corky Butcher or no? <laughs> no, no. no. Corky Butcher. Corky Butcher. Corky Butcher. <laughs> Corky Butcher. <laughs> I know. Kristen told me that it's he's wow. some he's some. German she would know. Singer. She is she is the ultimate. And, and singer, this guy so. guest starred on a Rammstein song. Really? Yeah. Real deep voice. Was it a? Uh, you know, like the, you know, the German, you know the German creepy, like the whole. <laughs> yeah. I don't like, know. I'm trying to do the guy from Rammstein. <laughs> Here goes the <laughs> You know, I used to love them. They- I love. I used to love that band. I, I it was. I remember it was uh, Duhast and uh, Son Son or Sonny or Sana. Sana, yeah. Sana. Those two were that my jams right back there. in the day. They were. They oh were my good. God. They got some good songs, but I'll tell yeah. you what. They're they're just, I guess, musically simple, but they're just really heavy. They're yeah. Unique. There's not really anything like them. Yeah. I, I, I guess so. I don't, I don't think know. they're necessarily looking back as you know because I liked it when I was younger. And yeah. Rammstein. So talented. <laughs> <laughs> Power chords and names. Do, do hast, do hast mesh, do hast mesh niche. No, that's wrong. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know this shit. You son of bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> So back to PlayStation. Uh, yeah, or, back to me. Have, have you messed around with it? Does it? I saw that you have this gaming recording thing. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I've done. Uh, yeah, they all have, they all have kind of like a. Is it? Are you doing it through Twitch? Uh, no, you can share it through Facebook or you can share it through YouTube. But it's not recording with Twitch, or is that is that just an exclusive Xbox uh, One? That yeah. might be Xbox. I don't know. Xbox One, because I was actually fucking around with my buddy Evan. Yeah. Who we're hoping to have on when we do the board game stuff. Uh, Evan and I were sitting there, and I'll, I'll, link, it. I'll link it through the video. But uh, <laughs> we were uh, going on his Xbox One. We were playing a little bit of Far Cry 4. Yeah. And he had a little app on the Xbox that automatically records the shit. Mm-hmm. That was it. it. Just Twitch records it. Oh. And then can upload that from Twitch, from it- the Twitch server, to your YouTube server, oh. if you want. Well, I, I I know that like if you if you want to record clips from your game like what I did they they record fifteen min, minute increments but you can record for as long as you want so you can record an hour video but it chops it up like I guess fifteen minute sounds like Hausbach is good then but yeah well we gotta get that going exactly we just need to we need to get microphones that have two channels yeah. I was thinking headphones though I'm probably I'm probably gonna go get an actual just real gaming <laughs> headphone thing. Yeah. I'm either thinking that or I'm looking at those H twos and the H fours. Behind the scenes, everybody. I'm looking I'm looking at those two vo- I'm looking at those two recorders actually. <laughs> yeah, Turtle, Turtle Beach is okay, but they're, yeah. they're not as clear audio Turtle when Beach. you're actually recording. They're I was looking at this other one that looks like this creepy ass dude is like giving a review. The trial monster. As yeah. nice as those would be to have. And my wife would really appreciate it, especially if I had the game sound in my ear. I don't want to buy a nice one because I know I'll break the fucking thing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you will. I, there's nothing when it comes to gaming that I haven't broken. I've broken, I've broken a TV. <laughs> I, I remember that actually. A big screen TV. I broke. I broken headsets. I broken. <laughs> I remember that. I broke Jesus. at least half a dozen controllers. That was a good night because I remember you and I actually because because your your wife wasn't home. We had to go and. Uh, replace it that evening yeah she better never hear this because i think to this day i told her it just started sparking i said yeah it just sparks sparks are flying out of and malfunctioned and i what didn't actually do what happened was, was i was pissed the headphones into the goddamn television and it cracked the whole oh. fucking screen I, yeah i fucking launched the headset there was a malfunction i actually broke the television and the headset in one fell swoop oh my god sparks everywhere that's my resume, people. So it's oh. not like I'm a really impressive gamer. What I do is, is I play first-person shooters, and I, I get losing, really, I, I, get I find, a, yeah. I find a game that I like. The rage just builds up. I go up. really deep in one mode in one game. So I get good at these games, but it's so, it's so random. Yeah. You know, hop from from Call of Duty. I was on Battlefield. I got too pissed. I broke my last controller, and I said, I heard you broke game. that game, or you, yeah, you broke All it. All the right? games, the game didn't make it. It's no longer playable. Yeah. <laughs> Um, done with that game. Um, you heard it here. 
Hi, my name is Colin. I'm a rageaholic. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Looking forward to putting up some uh, some kills for you guys on your your podcast here. Actually, I'm basically, I'm basically gonna be in the room with you and make sure the hot for fucking recorder is not in part of the thing. Yeah. Around. Oh my god. I'll just lay on top of it. It'll be fine. Easy. I. I tend to not break other people's stuff unless it's your controller. I was gonna say. But that well, controller, if you know, in all fairness, that if, controller was a little fucked when you gave it to me. If we're playing down here, oh, that was actually pretty decent. Mm. Yeah. I actually I cracked the lower portion, but nothing more. That was you like easy. squeeze it. You're like, you yeah, like I mean, fucking. <laughs> Nick like chokes kung, it. Nick chokes the kung, life out of his controller. Kung fu grip he's got <laughs> yeah. from years and years of practice of uh, masturbation. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it, let's be honest uh, <laughs> well if we play down here I have a punching bag over here you can just I know, we need beat to the shit you know, hang the goddamn thing I gotta stand. I'm gonna need that in the next few weeks I'm just letting you know Jesus Christ why Why do we need to know that Nick oh nothing nothing for air it's uh uh oh some family shit going on okay alright gotcha we'll leave it there thank you <laughs> we'll leave it there oh for now I'm, oh trust me they're oh. gonna hear about it eventually but yeah just while everything you're just going bottling on. it up inside, you're gonna take it out on a controller, Absolutely. and you're gonna squeeze Absolutely. the life out of the controller. Yeah. <laughs> just don't do I'll it to my, like Don't that. do it to mine. No, I won't. But if we play down I here, I don't break other people's things. All right. I, I exclusively go with mine. That's, 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 that's what I want. That's what <laughs> I want to hear. That PS4 controller looks expensive. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't even know how much that other one that costs. Might but... Stop me from breaking it. You know, assuming I ever get one. Nope. Yeah. We'll see how long that lasts. That's a no. Well, nope, I guarantee it. I guarantee you're going to sit there. You're going to be the first person I'll ever meet and know that will literally buy them in like a fucking five or just ten gotta pack. Get, you got to get those cheap ass ones that I remember back in the day, like when I had a Sega Genesis, I just bought like cheap ass controllers. I still have a couple. You know, I, I never have. I've always them. hated them. I just bought yeah. online. If you go on, I don't remember if I was on it. It was on eBay. They have a PS3 controller. It's a generic one for $9.99. Yeah. But this one is, at least ergonomically, identical to the Sony. Really? I've read some reviews on them. I guess when you depress the R3 and the L3, that they're not quite as responsive. Yeah. You're there's gonna a get... little bit of delay in the yeah. signal, I guess, from when you turn it on and off, but that doesn't affect inline gaming. But I haven't been gaming since I got put Battlefield 4 down, yeah. so I can't attest to its gaming on it. Nick uh, and I played a little bit. What was that one we played the other Far Cry. Do A or Deuce A? Oh, Deuce A. I, sex. I heard that's pretty sweet. That's good. Yeah. I gotta play that. Oh man. Yeah, I only have one game for PS4, so I gotta, I gotta step up my game here. And I gotta buy a couple. But Metro Last Light. I heard that. Last yeah. Night, you like that? I got that was one of the ones that they have on the PS Network. Yeah. Or the the PS Plus. Or PS whatever. Plus. Yeah. And I had uh, Ruane actually got me as a gift a subscription to that, so I got that game. That was actually a pretty fun couple of days worth of gaming. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you the reason I mentioned that. That game has the best soundtrack that I've heard. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Alexi Amolchuk or whatever is the guy that did it. Amolchuk. And it is, it is pretty killer. There's, a, there's right. a song on there called Bunker Blues, and I suggest hitting that up. Bunker you can find Blues, find it on YouTube right. or Spotify or something. Hell or yeah. Or play the game. Hell yeah. Oh, and just for conflict uh, and just for concept, uh, I just looked it up. 60 bucks con for a controller without tax. Damn. Okay. That, I guess that's about what PS3 was when they came out. Yeah. Yeah, about. I thought it was more like 50. But 54 I 99 I think, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. I, I should know. I fucking bought about a dozen of them, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, if we had a few more years of this and I had a fucking real goddamn job going on right now, I'd have just bought them. For a wedding present, I'd have bought him a ten pack. Someone was single handedly making. That would have been it. one of the most functional <laughs> wedding gifts. I, I <laughs> you shouldn't have. He just chucks it. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Throws it against the Takes wall. Takes one Thanks, out man. In the first moment, just cracks <laughs> uh, the fucking think, thing yeah, in half. I think that would be worse. I'd break more because I know I could. It's like it, P uh, It's like PTSD. Well, he here's just, the thing. He uh, originally, I was, living, I, motherfucker. I originally <laughs> was setting it up actually so that I'd have <laughs> the ten at home at my house, and then when you broke <sighs> one. You get another one, but you only get like one a month. Ah. Oh my I'm god! <laughs> we need, I, we need to invent that shit. We need down. to invent, invent a foam controller. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be great. That'd like, be amazing. Like the life-proof case for yeah. the uh, fucking for both of you, so you can squeeze the life out of it. You can throw it in <laughs> for the abusive gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus and, and I'll tell you what. Go for it. Go you, 
you can YouTube. There are so many fuckers out there that just rage hard in these video games. Oh yeah. I mean, that's it's like th- this would be a hit. We're coming up with business ideas left and right yeah. here. That Chipotle's gonna do it to Taco Bell hours late yeah. night. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the fucking drive. What else we're we gonna got? have we're gonna have multi pack sales for controllers. Yeah. And we're gonna have um, cases for controllers for Rageaholics for. Cases, man. Foam, foam. Okay. Dude, we're s- for you the Otter Box fucking controller case. <laughs> we're solving the world's problems right now. On well, Geek it Eclectic. might save that, but it won't save the wine glasses that you hit the controller yeah. with. Those are still in danger. Wow. That or the wine bottle that was right behind it too. Yeah. <laughs> Everything needs to be childproof type shit. Actually, yeah. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, are we still finding glass now from that fucking thing? Every once in a while, I'll find a shard here or there. <laughs> oh my god! Would you throw the glass in the wall or something? No. no, I hit it with a controller and it broke. I mean, I've never seen glass explode into this many pieces. Maggie Fuck. came out. She was that's my wife. She was just absolutely disgusted with me. <laughs> a grown a man control. sitting and breaking controller. Oh yeah. <laughs> You broke the controller of wine and, the worst, and wine glass. The worst part is I feel bad for her because she has nobody to relate this with. It's oh like, oh, your God. husband too? No, I'm the only asshole that does this. <laughs> <laughs> like, 30-year-old man that breaks stuff like a child. Just throwing a controller <laughs> as I go. <laughs> man. I don't want... No! No! Smash! Throws it over a fucking glass. If I had a dime for every time Nick stopped me and talked me off that oh. ledge. <laughs> it's, oh, okay. Controller uh, but prevention line. <laughs> okay, take a step back. <laughs> don't don't throw the controller at the glass. Don't throw it at the glass. I, I, hear, I hear you tap with the base of the controller on the table. Stop that. Three times hit. <laughs> on occasion, oh. I've actually moved his shit to the floor <laughs> so it's away from him. Oh, my God. Rare occasions, but it's happened. There's Holy shit! Nice well, when you get just so invested in it, man. I'm oh. telling you, you get deep in a game, and you just notice so many nuances. You know, <laughs> it's like I I come up with all these crazy conspiracies that I'm sure don't exist, but yeah. like I'm I'm done. I, I it's let me play good for two weeks. It's got to yeah. fuck me over tonight because I can't seem to. You all know what I'm talking about. I do. You know, it's like, the guy's a level twenty. He has no business killing me. What the fuck? <laughs> Granted, it's probably his third account. And yeah. Just let, you know. Fucking lighting you up. Yeah. Again. One of my That's lines so... that I, I'm better than you oh. as I'm getting my yeah. ass kicked. That son of a bitch, I'm coming back. And... Oh. Although I have to give him credit, though, because after he says that, nine times out of ten the next game, he fucking annihilates these people. No, I, yeah, no dude. The last few or you were just raping these people. Oh. Did you guys grow up playing shooters or what were you, were you more Zelda or PC um, or like I played right? everything. Yeah. I grew up with like you I, know, I used to play sports games. I, I don't understand. Yeah. What did you play through? Grew up with a lot of Nintendo. The, the the first FPS I ever played was Wolfenstein. Oh Wolfenstein Goldeneye, baby. Well like, no. Wolfenstein was my first FPS, I believe. Yeah. That was like, yeah, yeah, Doom. That was like that took it to the next level. Then, and then you got Duke Nukem, and you had all these other like Serious Sam, and you had all this other stuff. But. I, th- I think mine was Doom, but yeah. I would say the first thing I really got into that was FPS was definitely um, Goldeneye. Goldeneye, definitely yeah. Goldeneye. Or uh, Duck Hunt? No. <laughs> I love that. Your Duck first Hunt. FPS. Goldeneye was great. Goldeneye was great. Then, I mean, the campaign was fun, as I remember. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was the only game that I really yeah. enjoyed exploiting the cheats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because you unlocked the cheats. Yeah. It wasn't like, I got a code, fuck this. It was, I turn on big head mode and then uh, you know, explode after it's done. <laughs> and, uh, something Was there some that you could type in or something? Or no? Is it my no. Uh, you did no, you code. could. No, you unlocked everything. Yeah, you could unlock it. Paintball Which I love pretty cool. Remember paintball? I yeah. Do. I always hated big head, though. I do. Big head was annoying, yeah. But paintball mode I never liked and that one. occasionally, it's like, if you're pissed off and you know someone's like someone's ridiculous better than you, having that golden gun occasionally is a good decision. Oh, well, the golden gun. It's always a good decision. Don't miss though. Yeah. Don't miss yeah. the first shot. You miss like, your oh, fuck. The fucking thing for but then hour. they had didn't they have the golden the PP golden seven? Or, or yeah. The, uh, yeah. And, the and they had a silver PP one. The silver yeah. One was basically like a semi-automatic magnet. Yeah. It wasn't a one-shot, one-kill. No, but it was pretty goddamn close. It was good. It was oh, a great yeah. gun. The golden though is 
just devastating. Didn't they remake Goldeneye? They remade it. Didn't they make it like remake it for Wii? I thought I thought they did. I think they remade it for uh, uh, the all the consoles actually. I'd have to. I, think we, they, we, I, think I would have not, to play that. I don't think I'm it's, curious. I th- I don't think it's uh, like a full remake. I think they actually yeah. had Daniel Craig voice the thing. Really? Yeah. I'd have to try that out. I'm well, that interested. That was Pierce in Brosnan's that. movie, though. Was, yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah, it was. Natalia. Natalia. <laughs> Simono. No. Oh. Aja. I got, he was yeah. a fucker. That was actually almost. Aja a was a bastard, dude. Yeah, he was. A, he was. Yeah. Oh my you, god! You couldn't. You couldn't be. Our job was a dick, man. The one person that you could actually allow to be odd job was like, if you had a, fr- a friend who was not the good, or if you had like a, a sibling or some shit that was yeah. younger than we're you. We're gonna get you. You're gonna be odd job. <laughs> we're giving you, you odd job. You don't want to die. We're, instantly. we're setting you up with odd job. You're irrelevant and terrible anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, you're odd job. Natalia well, Simonova. Um, we used to play a game. We it was a fun. That was one of the reasons that game was so fun is because you could have four people and you'd have friends sleep over. Yeah, that was that game around sixth, seventh, eighth grade for us. Yeah, pretty much. It had to be. Yeah. You doing your sleepovers on Friday? We used to make up a game where it was on the map. I believe it was called Caverns, and there was like a little cave ramp with a couple of stalactites coming down. You'd oh yeah. And you'd have one guy would sit in that in that on that ramp, and he would have the P ninety. Okay, and the other three guys were on a team. They would work together as a team, and they would come from the opposite entrance of the cave. You would turn the lights down so you couldn't see shit. And the guys that were on the team had to use a pistol. You had to use a pistol. Like this? It was three on one. Maybe. Okay, I, a thing here. I don't know. We're watching a That's little the video. Is no, that the camera? Oh, no, this is, this is not multiplayer, is it? That's multiplayer right yeah. there. Maybe Although. It, was a cave. So it was the cavern of the cave. The level. God, look the up. Guys, the three guys that were working together could only use a pistol. The other guy had a P90, but it was three on one. Look how fucking polygon and everything is. You had to take over that back alley. That was a fun fucking game. That was my love point. that. Sorry That's a classic. That story, but that was Isn't that boring? Game. It's fucking awesome. Agreed. That's a fucking classic, man. I'm trying to think. I've, yeah, I, uh, God, I'm trying to think. I grew up with, like, fucking Mario. I, like, n- Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and then I, I remember playing PlayStation. And I remember, like, I think, like, one of my friends that only had a PlayStation was, I knew was Hans. So I would go over to Hans's, and we would play, like, Twisted Metal. Uh, Twisted Metal was one of my favorite games. That game was rowdy. That game was fucking amazing. That game was rowdy. Sweet Tooth and fucking, I forgot the other dude's name. But you had Rod Z- Rob Zombie, yep. or White Zombie, did the... Uh, yep. Who was the clown? Sweet, sweet Tooth, that was yeah. Sweet, okay. sweet Tooth, yeah, man. Oh, God, yeah. I don't know why I just thought of that, but I love that fucking game, dude. Oh, yeah. I have so many over there. I, we, I gotta hook all that shit up. I can probably record all that stuff over there. I've got all of them. Contra, Zelda, um, all that shit. But, oh my God, man! Yeah. I love I love Resident classic games. That was that was game. That was, Resident Evil. I mean, yeah. that was legitimately scary. That first. Yeah. Time. Well, now you got now you. What's the new one out now? Um, I haven't played it since then, and I didn't even beat that. I just played it for a little bit. Well, like horror games, like you've seen, like what uh, Evil you Within. Yeah, the Fear. You got Fear Three. Evil Within. That's like a new one. Evil, out now. Oh yeah, Evil Within. It's just crazy good. how the, how that shit has just evolved. I mean, it, it was genuinely scary. Like when that game came out, I remember that. It's the atmosphere and yeah, there's there are so many damn games, aren't there? Sports games have evolved crazily too. Oh, oh yeah, I, I don't know if crazily is a word. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you just, like you just made it one. Yeah. You just made it. There one, used to man. be Tecmo. Remember Tecmo Super Bowl? I used to play that. Tecmo, yeah. Fucking, I, you know, I used to play fucking uh, Ken Griffey Junior. Baseball, son. Go. That was a solid fucking I game. The worst fucking uh, second game, the Joe Montana football. It's the worst. <laughs> Joe Montana. Like, yeah. like it's. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's, yell loudly it's, like it's, like it's the f- episode, it's man. the fucking worst. It's like it, it's like you tr- it's like trying this. I don't know if it's John Madden or something doing the voice like John Madden. It right just sounds now. like complete ass. Just touchdown there. It, it, well, it's like slow motion. Like he's running for the touchdown. It's just and it's just so you feel like you're running in concrete. Like these guys are running. Like they dumped in their ass and they can't run fast enough. Like. Is he alive still, John Madden? John Madden. John Madden's still alive. Yeah, you know, I'm still alive. Um. Sir Duncan. <laughs> Sir Duncan was his thing, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have it over here. Turkey oh, inside of the duck inside of the studio. There it is. 
Well, Madden, obviously, you know, the Madden series, that's still the series to beat. Oh, yeah. Mad- Madden has evolved, like, so much. Like, you can build your teams and trade people and fucking, I don't know, man. I, 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 I Like I said, I have given up sports, but it seems like the only yeah. thing relevant left is uh, the 2K series versus EA. And then I yeah. guess the show, it might be its own thing. Everybody that plays baseball says the show is the bomb. I remember the show, yeah. That's the current one. Yeah. I don't know when they started coming around, but. Yeah, you've only got a, you've only got a couple of those that have hung around. I mean, I remember back in the day you had a bunch of shit that you. I remember we had that one that was like the future, like twenty something something. Oh yeah, fucking like baseball future baseball thing. And you had yeah. the team that was from Mars. You had the team that yeah. was all robots and shit. There was oh, a yeah. game for Sega, and it was one of the f- most fun games I've ever played. It was like monster football or something. Yeah, and or hockey or football. Yeah, and, yeah, they had a hockey game too. Yeah. You would blow each other up if you had tackled them right. That was so satisfying. You fall through like a hole. You were playing on the moon and all these different yeah. things. Yeah. What the hell was that game called? Yeah, I remember running that from Blockbuster that and was... saying that shit. <laughs> it makes me feel old. I'm going to look that up. Fucking Blockbuster. Yeah, look that up, man. God, did you guys remember going to Blockbuster and running video games? I miss going games? to Blockbuster. Oh, my God. There's, there are probably people out I'm on listening to this right now. They're like, what, what the fuck what, is a Blockbuster? What, what the fuck is a Blockbuster? Yeah. It saddens me. Blockbuster video. It just it just hurts my soul. Mutant I, League football. Mutant League football. Mutant League football. That's coming back to me. I, I remember playing that one. I remember there was a hockey one. Yeah, there was like, yeah, just crush. Yeah. Do I found the uh, I found the the uh, golden eye that we were talking about. You did. Yeah, I did. Oh my god. <laughs> Yes. You know what it is? It's called Nintendo. Goldeneye Reloaded. And it's got Daniel Craig. Is it Wii? Set. Is it Nintendo Wii? Or is it play, on I'm also? looking at the PlayStation 3 that's for 21 something. I have to do, buy it. Do I'm we gonna, want this? I'm going to have to buy We'll have to get that. Do we want this? Well, we need to look up some gameplay. And, yeah, why not? Let's do it. All right. We'll do a video about it. What's up? I guess it's been remastered. Really? For Xbox One. Oh yes. Going from Halo 1 ah, yep. Yeah. Everything. And mind. And the best part about it, the fucking game. That's smart. I was reading about this already, That's and I've been smart. actually listening to other people on it. But the best thing about it is that like the shit that was awesome in each one of them, they kept it. So like the pistol in the first Same game. Age, just better graphics. Yep. Yeah. Like the pistol that was basically great, the all star of the whole first fucking game. Hands down. It is in the remastered version. Hands down. Yeah. Wow. That's and great. Man. It plays better, better frame that? rates, everything. You remember the Needler? Even through the second one, even when you could double wield, the Needler, if you were running low yeah. on ammo, you would run, you'd have a better chance of chopping somebody with a melee than, than picking up a Needler. Yeah. That was. God, <laughs> so hopefully dude. they kept that. Pretty much. They've kept, they apparently kept everything. 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 Wow. That's pretty sweet, dude. I, I'm sold on Xbox One. Well, too, it's too late for me. <laughs> Our true gaming correspondent, Michael Ruane, is playing the beta for Halo Five. He said it's awesome. Really? He said it's. He said so far so good. You heard it here. You heard it here first, folks. Oh my god. So. God damn. God damn. God damn. <laughs> you should have heard it. We were doing a uh, little jam session uh, before we singing a little bit of uh, funky up or whatever it's called. Our, well, we were singing Faith, weren't we? Or something. We were singing. nice. We need to get a Kane Loggins version. Everybody cut, everybody cut. Everybody cut, everybody cut. Everybody cut, Footloose. Did he do that song? What, Footloose? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh Kenny Loggins? Yeah. 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 He did Danger Zone. Oh, yeah. Who was the original? Faith? Was George, uh, George Michael. George Michael. Yeah. George Michael was previously Wham. Yeah. And then, of course, Limp Bizkit and Fred Durst did it, right? Yeah, they yeah, covered, covered that. Job, yeah. So, like, yeah. everybody's generation's ass clown has done that Everything. Song. Uh, yeah, so now someone's going to cut. So now we have to have another ass clown cover the Limp Bizkit version. Let's talk about well, who could be that ass clown. Yeah, who would do that? Uh, Kanye. Kanye West. Kanye. Would, yeah, I could see him being. I, I mean, oh. such <laughs> I guess it would be nice if I could touch I your body. That, I mean, <laughs> him discovering such quality as Paul McCartney, who's 
that song is going to make this guy's career. <laughs> I hope. I hope that's not true. I guess there's a there's an article out there about Kanye recently performing with Paul McCartney. Did you see this? No. I guess he did some performance with Paul McCartney. Okay. And following the show or whatever it was, a bunch of Kanye's followers on Twitter had commented to see the effect of. I don't know who this Paul McCartney guy is, but Kanye sure has an ear for talent. Are you, you know, fucking kidding no, me? And there were half a dozen. I they love, were hilarious. Love, they were really funny. Oh, how, my how God. People from obscurity, and this guy's now going to have a career from this song. Yeah, Kanye's really going to launch this guy's <laughs> career. Who is this guy? It, it, oh pretty, things like that. I don't know. It was pretty funny. Wow. Fucking wow. Kanye. Yeah, I discovered this guy. I mean, there's a bunch Jesus of garbage out there that could really, you know. Oh, there's a whole bunch of garbage. Fred Durst is hard to follow. Yeah, it's a tough act. He had, he was very whiny. He had the whiny whininess. I'm gonna take a chainsaw. <laughs> Skinny <laughs> ass raw. <laughs> Skinny ass raw. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's a piece of crap. But yeah, <clears throat> um, that guy's trash. Let's just talk shit. We're talking shit about Fred Durst. Fuck you, dude. Hey, Fred, I'm gonna take you a come chance. Down here, I'll skin your ass raw, buddy. Yeah, come on out, <laughs> bud. <really>. Oh, <laughs> he's probably cool, dude. I don't yeah, know. I don't but know. Then, but there's, you know, there's some terrible musicians out there. I hesitate to say that musician, but <laughs> you, yeah, you have to word. You, you have to use. You have to thing. use the word musician very lightly with a lot of music. Sure. Uh, because. Everything is just triple layered to make yourself sound so fucking good, whereas your vocals are just hideous. Like you can listen to some any of these pop singers right now, right? You, and you, if you isolate those vocals and you listen to it, holy shit, brutal! It's yeah, it's fucking awful. Well, it's it's like a chicken being with its head caught up, getting cut off, man. What's worse, having no talent and being pushed to, to the front to the top of these charts, or having a bunch of talent? And not using it and coming out with shitty music. I'll say, for example, Lady Gaga. Yeah. Juilliard graduate, or at least she attended there. I don't know if she graduated. Yeah. She has the she has the technical I mean, skills. Seen, there's there's but... videos out you can see, you can search for. Incredibly talented. Yeah. She does have some good songs. I I actually admit I. That's I actually like some yeah. songs. No. Yeah. yeah. She yeah, has some catchy. Yeah. She's I'm got some catchy she, stuff. She's been, she's but been on a whole album with fucking Tony. But Bennett she's recently. done. A lot of bullshit too. Yeah. You know? Oh god. But, yeah. I mean, she got the fucking meat dress shit on top of everything else. But she has a she has a way of, of. I'm not just obscuring her musical talents. I'm saying overall, she does crazy shit on the side of it. But she knows what she's doing though. Oh, she absolutely. Because people are gonna people eat it. Talking about. Her. People are gonna eat it up. That's why she does it. So Who's and, the and it's. Talent you're gonna bring up. I'm curious. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. You know, there's just so much shit out there that I, I don't. I don't fuck. I don't watch enough news. I don't stay. I don't. I'm not good with pop culture. What's the one knows, song? Especially in the uh, trivia Twitch stuff. Oh, I, I, that's my worst. <laughs> I, I just... I'm trying to think. I think I heard like Britney Spears, like ice, her isolated vocals. Oh, it, and it, it was hideous. Me. Yeah, I mean, it was hideous. It yeah, <laughs> it was. It was Colin Keane on the track, dude. He was. He was singing. And <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> and again, did... going back to my, I don't stay abreast of these things, yeah. but. It seemed there was a period there that auto tune. Auto tune was yeah really was, was big. Really popular. Yeah. Has that faded? I think it's it's still kind of there. It's not as um, prevalent as it was with like T Pain. Drake, he's an shit. Clown. He's guilty of auto tune. Oh, Drake, he he has like one. Mo he's just monotone. Started from the bottom now, it started from the bottom now, yeah. old team fucking like. Right. I mean, the guy can spit rhymes, but he's just so fucking monotone, and it's just like, yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Like, hello, I'm gonna talk like this the whole show. Hi, uh, hey, how are you, Bueller? It's like, <laughs> Bueller. I, I, right. Yeah, I mean, and my computer just had a stroke. Sorry about that. Indeed. Um. Okay, so we're talking about just awful. Drake sucking ass, apparently. Yeah, I'm on a That's going to stir some feathers. He's pretty popular, isn't he? People like him. Yeah. I, I, he's never wild enough. He, I mean, I don't know who we're talking about, so... You don't know, you don't know Drake? I'm out of my element. I'm just going to throw yeah. that out there. So we I'm, are all out I of our no element. Colin, you're out of your element. Child wanders <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all out of our element. <laughs> Come on, man. Shut the fuck up, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Donnie. Oh, man. 
We're all out of our element, man. I mean, I don't know. The, the, there's a lot of pop music today that you just like, uh, you know, it, it, it's either been done before. I, I was saying how I used to be in a band and how I've seen, you know, a lot of talented artists. I play with, I play with all kinds. I, I was in a ska band. And we played with which metal. Is basically we punk played in with yeah, trumpets, played, yeah, and a trombone. Punk. I guess that's the most accurate way to describe that. Uh, it's more more reggae slash punk. But, ah, um, he had, they did have a metal drum. I don't remember. But uh, <laughs> cricket. Uh, <laughs> you can't associate popularity with, with talent. talent. No. You can't. You really can't. I mean, it, it it's frustrating because I saw talented. I've seen talent. I played with talented artists, and there's probably I guarantee there's and still there's yeah there you had your mix. They were good and bad, <laughs> but there's still talented people out there, and they're still doing the grind, man. They're still working hard, and it's you know that's what you got to do till something breaks. But I don't know. It's uh, just hard, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's uh, George Michael for you, buddy. Yeah. He's English. He's Cuban. Hey, hello. I'm Giorgio Michael. <laughs> how are you doing? He's Greek, actually. Oh, Giorgio. How are you doing, Giorgio? That's right. Cuba. We can go to Cuba soon, can't we? There you go. They're lifting the oh yeah. Let's get some. Oh, let's get some cigars. Yeah. Get some Cuban cigars. We'll go back to this again. I don't watch enough news, but. Yeah. I didn't know they were doing it. I watched the news. This, crazy. this just in on Geek Eclectic News. We're Cuba's all, okay. We're all going to Cuba to get some Cuban cigars. Although I'd have to say you probably want to go soon. And the reason being yeah. is, I think part of the draw to that is you would see a bunch of cars. You have that view of Cuba like it's the fifties still. Oh yeah. Oh my God. They have cars. Those are oh. Now you know as soon as us asshole tourists start going there, it's going to be yeah. all sunglass shops and t-shirt shops, oh, shops and, yeah. and a Cuban cigar is going to lose. You're never, yeah. Because you can get it. But you're going to want to know what is a real Cuban cigar, but you'll never know because everything's tourist and bullshit. On top of it, you're just going to have, I went to a communist nation. This is the only thing I got, t-shirt shits. Yeah. Here are sounding like I went to Cuba. Asshole. Not to yeah. be negative. It would be cool to go there, though. Yeah. I agree. It would be cool. And why, I mean, there's no reason for that country to be so restricted anyways. What what the hell? I agree. We, we do plenty of business and operations and, and, and things with China. Yeah. China's, just, China's fucking robbing us blind. And now we're, we're, we are really getting into politics here. <laughs> yeah, we can't do politics. We can't do politics. We, did, we already did religion last episode, and we know oh, how wow. that turned out. I haven't heard that. Nick fucking raged sure. out. I didn't okay. rage out Nick, about religion. I didn't you, rage out about no, 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 no. Religion. You were, you raged out on Kirk Cameron. It was about an hour. Yeah. No, it was good. It was Three long. Three minutes of me ranting. All right. The mic, Nick had this, this mic the sitting mic here. The mic probably about my crotch. He's right screaming. Right here. And you're hearing me more clearly than you're hearing him with the mic right here. He's screaming. And he's just <laughs> raving about <laughs> Kirk Cameron. Being a cocksucker like he is. Yeah. Oh. Kirk Cameron. He was on Growing Pains. Of Growing Pains. Remember him? What does that have to do with religion? I, I don't know. Oh, he well, has become a born again Christian. Here we go again. <laughs> born again. I'm just stoking the fire. Right? I know you are. You really are. You're you're stoking it back up. Here we go. <laughs> he, uh, uh, Let's get back on the ride, j- ladies and gents. <laughs> he's used his quote unquote fame to uh, bring the message of God and the Lord yeah. to people. He made a board game. On top of everything else. You know, we all do stupid things if it makes us money. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to say yes. I'm sure he, do you think he knows he's, you know, he's probably no, laughing. He believes he's in, he's he laughing all the way the right. to the bank. I mean, yeah, no, he, probably, he believes he's in the right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, well, hey, that's, crazy people. that's problematic. That's problematic. But, but some people are just fucking nuts. I can't, you least, know, you know. I don't. I, I can't say respect, but understand why the people that that are just complete frauds do it. Yeah. You know, they just they make a bunch of money and they pretend to be all religious and they're helping people and spreading the word of God and everything. You know, they're they're just making money and that's. Yeah. You know, eventually, they get busted and they're straightforward. You know, but the people that yeah. have to worry about are the ones that really truly make believe. money and truly believe. That that combo there. Ooh. 
<laughs> scary, man. Fucking scary. Here, let me put it this They're frightening people. <laughs> I'm going to let everyone else be quiet for a second so that they don't get associated with the comment I'm about to make. But yesterday or the day before, there was a uh, terrorist attack by some extremists, some terrorists in France. Stu's putting the mic down. <laughs> let me just put it this way. I feel that right now, as much as religion can be a positive force in people's lives, it is something that really, really is a huge negative as well. And everyone thinks that their religion is so great, so powerful, so just impacting. But these people who believe that the understanding that they have received from God or Allah or whoever you want to say gives them the point and allowance to go <laughs> and fucking kill people for a goddamn cartoon. Fuck them. Fuck anyone that belongs to that kind of shit. And don't get me wrong, I know some Muslims that are actually cool people that sit back and go, these fucks are crazy. But the sheer fact that no one sits back and goes, who the fuck says this is okay? And as part of that religion goes, we need to weed this shit out of here. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the clan. I'm tired of the fucking extremists of the Muslims. I'm getting the Christian version too. Fuck them all. Religion, more than not lately, has been a divider of humanity. It's not something that brings them together. It's something that hurts them. It's something that causes destruction, not brings creation. It sucks. See what you Fuck. did, Colin? Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Just be simply a good person to other people. I'm sorry. Just be a good person. Where the fuck did that ever become too hard? Oh, be a good fuck. person overall. Be nice. Don't kill people. How is this shit that fucking hard to understand? People are fucking nuts. I don't know. That's pretty rowdy. Yeah. The description of that whole shooting anyway, that's like the two guys were militants. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't even care about the cause. They were just yeah. paid, ha highly trained killers that were just paid by some crazy organization. Said it. Yeah, fuck those cartoonists. Yeah. And, you know, those guys didn't care. They were just getting paid and probably psychotic yeah. anyway. Yeah. But uh, I'd like to think that my gaming Call of Duty skills, if I were involved <laughs> in that, I think yeah. I could have I could have camped. Yeah. I could have camped in an office. <laughs> Call me a fucking camper, but I would have taken one of them fuckers down. fucking camper? Yeah, I'd have fucking bagged one of them. Yeah. Oh man. You would have. Yeah, I would arch that shit. I've been the arrow. Yeah, that's my fucking. Phone. You know what, man? Fuck people. You're gonna call you know call out religious people. Fuck people who motherfuck campers. Camping yeah. is a form of play. It's a yeah. Form of, it's called. Something. It's it's strategy. Let's it get is. some feedback. I mean, I, like I mean, it's a strategy. Gaming, you know, yeah. I like it. it's good. we're coming full circle. I like here. it. <laughs> Where, you know, camping, I don't necessarily do it all the time. Sometimes yeah. you're playing an enemy that but you, you have to. you find yourself doing it sometimes. You need and to that's, sometimes. Yeah, and you I have to. Camping is bullshit. If you run around in a video game and you're a run and gunner, typically, you, you know, it's the guys that uses the UMP or whatever SMG the game has in it, whatever game you're playing. Right. And they don't camp. You know, they pride themselves on it. And they keep getting killed, and all they do is curse you out for being a camper. Yeah. Well, you're fucking dumb. Figure it out. I mean, campers are easy to kill if you're good at a video game. You know where yeah. they're at. Oh, yeah. You know what they're using. You know where to go back. You know when to, when to, where to take them out. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my camping rant. Stu, there what do you go. have to rant about now? I'm not much of a ranter. All right. I don't know what I have to rant about. Chipotle. Stop giving me the fucking shits, man. Stop <laughs> giving me the... <laughs> Dude, got, Stop killing me, man. Got an extra help I'm not beans. going back there. What I'm never... Get? What beans? Did you get Black a... beans. Okay, this is what I had. Okay. I had a, a, a burrito bowl with rice, white rice, uh, all up. black Soak beans, up, yep. lettuce, uh, and then some guac. No meat. I thought the meat was what maybe doing thinking? it. No meat? No, you, you I thought the meat was getting me sick. 
This is not the yeah. first Chipotle yeah. incident. Yeah, this is not my first incident. He it was so I thought, okay, maybe it's the meat that's doing it. So you want maybe they're marinating meat? it in something weird well, that's they, making they meat. They have, what is it, tofu now? Did you see that? No, my, they didn't order any of that shit. Okay. So I was like, okay, I'll just try, I'll just do this. So you want the guayu, did you get the peppers and onions? The fajitas? No, I didn't even do that. I ate. Maybe it was the lettuce. Everything was all, everything was going good. And then halfway through, it's like it sunk in. Just dude, it's like my stomach was just. It was like fucking Indiana Jones, like that. In, you know, instead of the Indian guy ripping your heart out, there's somebody who ripped my fucking stomach out of my body, and just squeezed it like, gugum, 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 like his sphincters have been screaming ever since. <laughs> Put the mic down. I'm doing my rant right now. All right. <laughs> so yeah, stop making your shit toxic. Or if you're putting acid in there, I don't know what you're doing. Your rice in? I think it was the rice. You're you're you know, I don't know what the fuck you're putting in there. But please stop. I don't know. You guys out there are probably like, fucking sack up, man. Well, I can't do it, man. I, I eat at Chipotle, I, or I eat at uh, Qdoba. I'm golden. I eat at, yeah. Qdoba, hit us up. Qdoba's the uh, shit. I love it. Moses is good. Moses is good, too, yeah. Mrs. Renfro's Taco is Tano's, great. If you're in if you're in the Cleveland area, Taco Tano's, baby. Check it out. Ooh, Let's open a new one. Tasty. It's called Mexican Subway. Let's do it. Mexican Subway. Because <laughs> that's all, all those restaurants, all, that's all they are. Let's do it. Great. We could do a unique burrito sub. Boom. <laughs> we got the, the Mexican subway. The hand Welcome to Mexican subway. You know, we could even uh, actually no, no. spell me Mexicano wrong. Yeah. So Americans would pronounce it right. We should all the, all the be actual like pronunciation, we'll just spell it incorrectly. Mexicano. <laughs> like M-A-Y-H-E-E-A-N-O. -E I don't know what that means, but it, Mexicano like. is pretty good. It's pretty ethnic. It's Mexican, right? Yeah, let's do it, man. That's good. It's It's a... <laughs> it's a fusion. <laughs> we can we can spell quesadilla in a, in a new way. K a y s a. Quesa, yeah, I like that. D e e y a quesadilla. <laughs> We're just dumbing down things for all for of people. you stupid Americans out there. <laughs> I'll take the quesadilla. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> uh, we should. Oh my god, that's genius. Well, <laughs> just break it down, and and just you have to like walk people through it, hold their hands. Okay, you want the quesadilla. I hope you have a listener, some Latino out there that's, you know, either bilingual, well, they'd have to be to listen to it, yeah. and they're just shaking their heads. Yeah, like, oh, they're my like, God. They're like, oh, my God, has it come to this? We've, we've had, you know what, <laughs> we, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I, if, you, if we haven't had anyone do that yet, I'd be shocked. But um, actually, I wouldn't be shocked. Oh, my God. We have, like... <laughs> we talked about what have we talked about? Have we solved the AIDS problem? We've we've talked about religion. We've talked about we've talked everything. About... Like Chipotle, a little bit of video games, the new yeah. consoles. We're all over the place. Holy shit, man! Oh, I was gonna show you guys something hilarious. I'm gonna have to show you here in a little bit. Maybe we can stop and watch it. It's an old video. I was going through some old CDs. Uh, you know how you like you burn like old CDs for yourself and you can listen in the car and shit. Well, I had I had one. It, it's this one song, uh, and it's by The Rock, and it's called. You listen to the refugee it, camp. It's called. And you're gonna smell what The Rock is cooking. It's called Pie. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember the song, Pie. but yeah, I thought we were talking Slick. about the one I was. I brought up last week. No, 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 no. It's called Pie, and he, it's with Slick Rick. Is he in and he actually, song? The Rock actually sings. It doesn't. No, matter. no, it's. He did. Yeah, he did like Heart Jabroni Hotel or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> he did six songs. He's actually, he talked yeah. about Cleveland one time, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I think in one of those yeah. ditties that he did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so when he does, is this a wrestling related thing or is this like a Dwayne Johnson? Oh, um, is this, this is, this is WWE. He's, he's in character. He's okay. The Rock. Okay. And he's singing this song. And he's singing about... It's like a double entendre. He's like, I went to this, I stopped at this person's house and uh, I grabbed my head on a nice pie and I had, uh, took a bite and it was kind of, it was very good, but it was dusty. And I, I don't know, I, I can't remember the fucking rhyme, but it? it's so good. We'll have to, we'll have to watch. Uh, so we just heard this, that one song, uh, Pie by The Rock. I like that we didn't um, leave a skip spot. Totally random. I mean, that yeah, was that was really random. 
<laughs> the best part is him laying, he wants, saying he wants to lay his lay smackdown on a big, fat, ugly hermaphrodite. <laughs> Thanks for that, Rock. Thanks, Rock. Oh, yeah, I th- he said he gets I, hungry after he beats the shit out of yeah. a big, fat hermaphrodite. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna, you're you're going to be hungry after you beat the shit out of a big, fat hermaphrodite. But... I just I uh, heard that and I thought of you guys. I figured you'd want to. <laughs> you thought of us. Yeah. I heard that song and thought of you. Big fat, ugly hermaphrodite. I'm gonna lay smack down on you. Uh, look up "Pie" by The Rock. You're gonna get a laugh. But um, oh my god. Now, R- Macho Man. I remember he did a uh, put a fucking album out. Hulk Hogan, you coward! You coward! <laughs> he uh. He's. Uh, you know what? R.I.P. Rest in peace, Macho. You're you're one of my favorites, man. I uh, yeah, man. He he really was. I think yeah. genuine. He's a little fucked up, but he I think he was genuine. I was a little fucked. Uh, the cream of the crop, uh, but you know what, brother? Oh yeah. Yeah. The, I'm alive in your head. The video of him, the little promo shot with Hulk. <laughs> you can type into YouTube. Hulk Hogan and Macho Man high on cocaine. Just type that in, and there's yep. like a, a three minute clip, and they come <laughs> out just blown out of their minds. <laughs> Was it Mean Gene interviewing? Them? Yeah, Mean Gene's like, what and, the and fuck? And this guy is just, I don't know how he held it in. Mean Gene's like, how? I, you know, how, I know how he held it in because if he laughed, he might have had his head taken off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's good, there's there's an element of fear there. <laughs> you you know. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm going to be coming down for a very long time. <laughs> Just me and Gene's like, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Okay, Hulk, so what do you think about the... <laughs> oh, man, that's really a treat. Oh, yeah, Gene, if you fuck this up, oh, my God, I'm going to fucking punch your head off this fucking Saturn. And go, go watch that. Oh, dude, he goes, he's talking about the ionosphere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ionosphere. Oh yeah. Oh man. I tell you what. I'm gonna jump off a fucking. Yeah. I were a little worried about locking up here. Wait, just blow up the whole damn planet. Oh, this feels right. Oh yeah. It's gonna blow up the goddamn planet. Oh yeah. Macho Man had a really, really talented ability to just throw yeah in. Yeah. Where it had no well, business. I mean, he would just. He began a sentence. He says, "Go oh, yeah." Like he just. Yeah. He's like, yo, oh, yo, okay, yeah. Oh, man, I Jeez, love that, dude. In school. Yep, it's uh, good for it. <laughs> he I just know. has ticks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, oh, yeah. when you do yeah. too much cocaine, oh, yeah, you got to have that barbell left over your goddamn head. Oh, my God, yeah, I Hogan. My voice is loud. Nick's sticking this microphone in my fucking ear here. Jeez, dude. That's sensitive. I think he's checking it out. He's doing he's doing a research. Dude, right Hogan, uh, I love that. That video is probably one of my favorites. This, yeah, they both look out of their minds. This Hogan is just his eyes are just glossed over. Oh yeah, I mean, just looking like, into. I don't know. You know, he's they're looking. They're chomping in, at the bit. Yeah, I want to know what the fuck he's even his looking mouth at. Can't stop moving. Yeah. He can't stop. Moving. He's like licking his lips, isn't he? Or well, something like that. Kiss and tell in that clip. There's like that little kiss and tell from Macho Man where he. Uh, He's like he can't contain. Him. The whole world needs to know that he's high. As if you can't tell, and he's like, "Oh yeah, like, yeah, I'm up here, and I don't think I'm gonna be coming down for a real long time." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we know that, Macho. Jesus yeah, Christ! <laughs> I just love that he never like he could never stand still. Like like Mean Gene's interviewing him, and he's like he's like the, his back is facing the camera, so. <laughs> You're like, where the fuck is going on? What's this guy doing? You know, to all those people out there that are all uh, PC and, you know, you have to eat this, eat organic, be vegan and yeah. all that, and, and health-oriented conscious people, yeah. they just, they need to look no further than those guys. Ultimate Warrior, Hogan, yeah. Macho Man. I mean, those guys put nothing but chemicals and drugs into their body yeah. for the better part of a decade. Yeah. And they lived, in, you know, yeah. I mean, they, they were cut short a little bit, but they... <laughs> <laughs> they, they were never coming down, man. I mean... <laughs> I mean, you had Ultimate Warrior eating fucking cigarettes and don't smoke. (laughs) This tastes pretty good, actually. (laughs) I don't regret this decision. Oh, God. I mean, yeah, those dudes were like shooting up like tons of steroids steroids and shit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how. In fact, I don't think they've... I'll be coming down for a long time. Yeah. Time, man. You don't need well, he kale. Never did. All you need is cocaine, man. No yeah. Thing. That's all you need. He probably just took a little. little uh, all right. All right. Let's go. 
like Macho, like before the ma- match, Macho's like, hi, how you doing there? I'm Randy Savage. And then he just takes a bump. Hey, all right. Let's do it. All right, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm coming down. Oh, no. <laughs> I must, oh no! I must I'm terri- I'm co- coming down. It's I a must terrible sniff thing. Sniff more cocaine. Excuse me, Hulk. Do you have more cocaine? Yes, I do. <laughs> Great. Oh yeah! <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh brother, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we should lock hands right now. We're gonna explode the fucking universe. Realize there's a whole another universe out there, man. Like, it'll be the Carl. Are Weathers, you saying there's another Arnold, solar uh, system out there? That rivals the Carl Weathers Arnold uh, handshake <laughs> from Predator. I don't know if you guys remember that. I do. He's like, Dylan, you son of a bitch. Son of lock, a bitch. They lock hands and they're just, they're just like they're arm wrestling just in the air. In the and, air. <laughs> and like <laughs> Carl Weathers is like like struggling a little bit. And Arnold's like, uh, what? The CIA has pencils. Pushing, pushing pencils. Too many pencils. <laughs> too many pencils. Ah. Wow. 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 <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, you know. <laughs> it was, and then he's like, "All right, man." Let's go with that one. That's a great. I, they probably had like so they was. It was probably written as just a handshake, and Arnold's like, "No, we got to do the awkward uh, arm wrestling in the air. <laughs> that really will work out very well." Trust me, I'm gonna be governor. Stop. <laughs> oh God, man. I did love hearing a story actually recently. I don't know why it reminds me of it, but Hulk Hogan, he was like really close friends with Tom Arnold. When Tom Arnold had his first kid, he was really? sitting there and he goes in and he's like, God, I mean, Tom, this is a great moment. I mean, I'm not going to do the shitty fucking Arnold impression. He goes, this is, this, good. This is a great moment. I mean, I've, I, <laughs> I mean, I've, of my three kids, I mean, I've, this is probably one of the best moments of my life. And he knows Tom Arnold real well. <laughs> he looks at him and goes, Oh, all right, four. Of my four kids. <laughs> Come on, let's go make two lies. <laughs> true lies two. Make two. True lies two. Let's do it. What are you waiting for? They genuinely said, what has she ever done? I mean, that's yeah. like that. I feel like she fell off the face. I don't know. No, she's fucking what? huge. What? Wait, she's what? in every, she's in almost every one of the Halloween movies on top of everything else. Yeah. Well, she was in like Halloween H2O and that was, uh, she's in Activia commercials. <laughs> don't, yeah, yeah, I guess so. She's, 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 she is. I think she's actually she's regular. Yeah. <laughs> she's all regular, yeah, man. Yeah, I, I don't know what else she's uh, done since then. I just remember her stripping on that bed or whatever. That was a good scene. Take off, take off your clothes. <laughs> do, it. do it. Do it slowly. <laughs> do it slowly. <laughs> spin spin around. around. What is that accent? They got your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, this is some terrible shit. Shut up. Stop it. Take off your clothes. What are you doing? Stop it. Do it. Do it slowly. Do it slowly. <laughs> just, just fucking read it. It's not poetry. Just do the goddamn God thing. God damn it. Stick around. Oh, man. Wow. We've just gone around the spectrum on this show. Oh, yeah, it, it is. is. Oh, yeah. You know, this it's a free-for-all. A... I like that. This is a combo hitter. I like it a lot. Oh, my God. Let's see. True lies, man. She was in Freaky that. Friday, Trading Places. Oh, yeah, Freaky uh, Friday John with Lindsay Carter. Lohan or whatever. Indeed. When Lindsay Lohan with was the, actually the Lohan of Lindsay, pretty, pretty decent. What would, mean, maybe maybe she they was... actually did change places, and Jamie Lee Curtis just fucking shit up, and Lindsay Lohan's like, I drink, I eat Activia and Wouldn't poop. That'd be fucked. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. And Jimmy Lee Curtis is sitting there going like, I am batshit crazy now. Fuck it. Deuce got to go masturbate. That too. Maybe. You didn't pull that hammy. The hammy, dude. That hammy. Oh. The hammy's coming down. The hammy's going down. Oh, yeah. I just need a little cocaine. Get that out of my system. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call you out, baby. Hey. Intervention time? You want me to get on top of the turnbuckle right now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. So what else has Jamie Lee Curtis been in? I'm I'm, I'm curious. Now. I really want to know. I, all I know is that she's been in Activia commercials. That's all. That's all she's regular. That's Activia. True. Activia. Yeah, she's getting regular, all right. Probiotics. Probiotics, man. Yeah. I, uh, let's see. Uh, hang on. I don't I'll mind read, a probiotic uh, yogurt. I, I have some of that. Let's see. She's in a few episodes of New Girl. I guess I'm regular. The Veronica Mars movie. 
Uh, NCIS. Mm. Uh, the little engine that could. Voiced, did some voice work there. Okay. Uh, you again. Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Uh, the Turtles. Uh, Madcap Misadventure as Barbara Turtle. Jamie, what's Tuttle, go- I'm sorry. What's going on here? Uh, Christmas with the Cranks. I remember that, that one. That was with uh, uh, Tim Allen. Uh, yeah. uh, virus. So she's Nicholas's just waiting for another gift, Halloween homegrown. movie. Homegrown. <laughs> House Arrest. Uh, uh, the Drew Carey show she was on for one episode. You're losing us. You're losing me. Uh, True Lies. Come on, Nick. You're a medical prof- You're losing him. Beep. Uh, she's in a new movie called Spy... Spycosis. Yeah, Spycosis. And Scream Queens TV movie. <laughs> Dead. He died. Oh, God. Spare Parts. She played Principal. Wow. <laughs> They're okay. Activia. Activia. <laughs> and Activia. That's the last... <laughs> Oh, get some. You'll shit your pants. Oh, my God. I prefer to get out there. What is it? Kombacha. Kombucha. Kombucha. Ignorant. I don't know. It's like a Either fermented. Or. Um, Made it tomorrow. Fermented beer. Uh, I don't know. Look at that. Good. I was going to say, I, I'm, a, I'm a tea man. Tea. Like some tea. To, it's really not like anything else. It's a liquid. It is what you're, it's what you're it's saying. Form. It's refreshing. <laughs> it kind of has, I don't know. It's good. It's supposed to be good for you. Yeah. It's like a fruity kind of taste. Like Return your body to a nice basic pH level. How much does that cost? Yeah. What? The kombucha. Probably kombucha. bucks a bottle. Okay. You can get it at Whole Foods or... Nature's Banner, one hmm. of the health food stores usually carry it. That sounds so. Oh, that sounds interesting. Live and active cultures. Yeah, check it out. It's good stuff. They make one, I forget the brand. They make one with uh, chia seeds in it. Oh, really? High omega 3. Yeah, Renee picked up some chia seeds the other day. We weren't shopping it, and she just going to mix it into drinks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're really good for you. They get, it's weird. You put chia seeds in, in a liquid, and it becomes like this. You ever messed around with like aloe the, from the aloe plant? It's like this gelatinous. Gooey. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, it's, it's a almost... weird taste in your mouth, but it's pretty darn healthy for you. Yeah. It's in the same line as like flax seed, you know, like a raw energy kind of a thing. Yeah. Now that you're all asleep. <laughs> he's laughing about We're Nick. Talking... <laughs> Nick's falling asleep. He doesn't give Doc, a fuck. Dr. Oz here. <laughs> Dr. Oz. Uh, you, you gotta have chia seeds, It's guys. a miracle. It's a miracle drug. <laughs> didn't they put that guy in front of Congress? Yeah, he lied. He, <laughs> he, put the, he sold like diet pills and they didn't work or whatever. And they're like, do these, do you claim to go and uh, you claim that these work? Just look at that guy. Why yeah. would you trust him? Just yeah. one look. Like, he looks like a jackass. He does. They put him in front of fucking Congress. <laughs> He's every like, fat woman in America. <laughs> what the fuck? It doesn't work. What the fuck? Possibly the best part of his impression. Does it work? Oh my god. <laughs> you fuck. Well, yeah, you started eating blueberries, but you still fucking sit in your couch all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have. I can't get off my couch. I have sores. <laughs> <laughs> Ulcers and sores. Same. I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot of trouble. Boy, oh, yeah. That's that's pretty fucked. Well, everybody tries. Uh, everybody tries to take the easy way out. I mean, you have to get ex- exercise and eat right. Yes, you Two do. simple things that to lose weight. Yes. And you, you're not gonna fucking take this miracle pill and just sit on your couch and be like, oh yeah, that's gonna work just fine. Yeah, that's gonna work out for me great. Yeah, <laughs> that's. It's gonna be awesome. Not even cocaine. Yeah. Not even cocaine's gonna help you, honey. I mean, I hit the gym and I fucking do the barbell and shit, honey. I'm in shape. I'm a fucking god. Oh yeah, you're a fucking fat job of the slut. Sitting oh, on your boy. couch. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, Doctor Oz, fuck yeah. you. Yeah, fuck you, Doctor Oz. You're a chode, man. You should have. What are you doing over there? You should Nick? have a, a one minute. Are you segment filming something? Each week of a fuck you. And, and each week, somebody get or each episode, however often you, somebody gets a fuck you. Yeah, and, and a, fuck you, a fuck I you make, of the week. I make the motion, like, yeah, yeah, for the fuck you of this week, Doctor yeah. Oz. Fuck Dr. you of the Oz, week. Fuck you.
Fuck you, Dr. Oz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking like it. I'm taking it away. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Doctor Oz. You're you're a dick. You try you try to sell a brand of goods that, that's know, we shit. Had a fuck you last week of Kirk Cameron. Well, that was well, that was our okay. fuck you then. That was your. But fuck so you. now we got fuck you, Doctor Oz. So fuck you, dude. Honorable mention, Jared from Subway. Jared from Subway. Fuck you too, man. I, I say that guy. Fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, he's. I don't Jimmy, know, Jared. Man. Jared from Subway, fuck you too. Why does it seems that Jared walks around like a shit? Doesn't but if we're gonna, to be fair, if we're gonna do fuck yous, we should also do kudos. And I'm gonna nominate your wife Renee. Oh, she bought you a PS4 for Christmas. Major kudos. Excellent move. <laughs> Major kudos. Excellent move. Yes. That's as good a gift as you can unwrap. Were you like a kid again when you opened that? Yeah, I, I haven't like... gotten a good gift in. You know, something where, you know, you're yeah. a kid, you get you open like an N64. It, oh, shit, I'm going to plug it in and play now. It, I'll say this. Plug everything else. I'm well, playing. it was funny. because probably is a game, though. I need one of those. It was funny because I saw the box, and I'm like, you didn't get me like a PS4 or anything. And she's just kind of like, no. And then I opened it. I'm like, holy shit. I turned into a kid again, man. I remember getting my Sega Genesis at Christmas time. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit. Like, it just took me back, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm almost 30 years old, and I immediately turn into, like, a fucking 10-year-old well, kid. you don't get those gifts anymore. No, yeah. No, you, you don't. You, get, you, you don't. give them. You buy them well, to other people. Christmas fucking but, sucks. My, my brother, I talked to my brother. He has three kids. And he's like, oh, he's like, I heard you got a PS4. I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, you're not having kids for a while. <laughs> you're gonna, you, you better play the hell out of that. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's right, man. Yeah, well, yeah. Everybody, all of for our, sure. all of our uh, friends seem to be popping kids out. Everyone got married yeah. last year. Yeah, now they're now popping kids. kids and following the American dream, and good on them. Good on them. Yeah, but man, I'm gonna man. die alone. But it's good. Yeah, everyone else. Oh, hey, ladies, Nick hasn't ladies. Been since the Clinton administration. <laughs> that is false, I am dear, bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> Bill was an inspiration for me, son. Uh, <laughs> now I will be honest. It was not. It has not been since uh, uh, the second term of Obama. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> you know you like it. Uh, well, ladies. But mind you, I did take myself ladies. out of the market for a while because I dated three psychopaths in a row. You dated not kind of three for Can fucking real. Do you mind inpatient therapy? Uh, was raped from ten to fourteen and tried to kill herself multiple times, and then on the date did heroin in the bathroom. That's three separate was that women. The, was that the Juggalo? In a goddamn row, oh. and that was Juggalo. The Juggalo, yeah, you dated a Juggalo. Fucking, that was the cap. Yeah. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm out for a while. I'm done. <sighs> so, <laughs> that's bad. That's a really bad. Yeah, thing, man. I never heard that. But that's holy bad. shit. Yeah, did heroin on the date, and mind you, jugular yeah. insertion site. You must have been showing her a really good time. Yeah, man. Was she like, was she DTF then? Was she like, hey, let's, um, let's well, probably, she yeah, she's out of her fucking mind. She's not coming down, man. That's just, that's take wild. her back home and say, yeah, I did. Have a just, nice just, night. Just put on some, I'll see you. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call later. Yeah. Or maybe not. And not take it easy. Go listen to some ICP, part, honey. Best I'll... part about the whole situation. <laughs> I actually went back to the bar after I took her home. Yeah. And the girl was sitting there going like, who the, f what the fuck happened there? You, you looked like, you know, you were kind of bored, but she yeah. got all excited and shit after she was done in the bathroom. Oh. She met someone in the bathroom and they also had heroin on them. She didn't have her own two oh. fucking shoes. What the fuck? What are the odds? You take yeah. That to? Um, the one, it's, it's one by Fairview Hospital. And, you got some uh, heroin? Oh, cool. I got some heroin you know, too. Like, all right. It's that, fucking, uh, it's that spot that's not the common grounds thing. It's across the street. Where there's there's the a stage bar. for no there's a stage for shooting shows and shit like that for shooting uh, up. I think so. Yeah. There's no heroin addicts. What? No, 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 no. no. Shoot, shooting Lorraine up. Road. Hey guys, coming to shooting up. By like up. fucking, by like North, uh, Rocky River Drive. Yeah, yeah, that's the corner. Over there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple like bars in there. I think it might have been PJ McIntyre's. There's another Whatever the fuck, the Irish bar there. Yeah. There's like three of them. The bigger one. So you were in an Irish bar. Yeah. She runs into a dude or no, a chick. No, she's in the, a chick in the chick's restroom and shoots up heroin, heroin up there. Oh. Well, hey. 
more the merrier, I guess. <laughs> Automatically, I was like, "Wow, what?" Like seriously, she came out way so too did happy she ask to you, be on a date with me. Did at this she point. ask you like, "Hey, do, uh, you, do you want some?" No. No, I, oh, wow. no. She knew what she knew what I did, and I told I told her I was like, "I don't really give a shit if you do light shit like you smoke pot. I don't fucking care." You're like, "I'm not touching. <laughs> I don't touch X. This, this, but, this, this." Yeah, I don't do anything. Okay. Like with my job, I don't. You're not wrapping the belt. Or- what do you mean she came out of the bathroom happy? She, be- she came out of the bathroom. Yeah. She went in the bathroom, kind of like be- low energy. Yeah, yeah would she, be she came like- out the bathroom actually pleasant. Now wouldn't now wouldn't like, which to me on a date with me that's a red flag. <laughs> a little bit fired up. She had to take it down a notch. Yeah. To shoot up a little bit. <laughs> but I literally I took her home. Jesus. Came back to the bar and had a drink. The bartender, who was actually quite cute, was sitting there, and I was like, "She was like, what the fuck was that?" I was like, "Hey, yeah, that was that was the goddamn end. Just what that fucking thing was." Jesus, dude. Oh yeah, I just Nick and fuck his that. Heroin. We had a discussion. I was like, I don't know who the fucking brought in the bathroom <laughs> with her was, but you got someone in here that also shot up heroin in your bathroom. So, <laughs> oh Nick, I don't give a flying fuck. Narked. Yeah, I told the girl. I told the girl who was the bartender that the girl I was on a date with shot up heroin in her shitter. Maybe she just dropped a good shit. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, I feel great now. Well, that me. It gets me a yeah. little fired up. Yeah. You know, maybe that was all it was. I'm sure, she was. No, she showed it. me the site. Actually, I was like, "Did you fucking?" And she's like, "Oh yeah." I was like, "Well, I don't see you on your arms. I don't see your fucking toes." Yeah. She was wearing sandals. This is like summer and spring. So, were you like trying to diagnose her as she's sitting there? You like, you like. I- Oh, hold on. Let me get my flashlight here. I dropped no, my I keys. Okay, you're like. <laughs> I didn't have a flashlight or nothing, but I could see yeah. her arms. She was, it was it was nice. It was warm weather. Yeah. To me, she was wasn't on her arms, wasn't on her legs, wasn't fucking. That. And then I see her fucking. I'm like, where the hell did you? Where, what'd you do? And she goes, little H. I'm like, are you fucking shitting me? Wow. She goes, no. I'm like, I don't hey. see any. I don't see any fucking. I don't see any uh, fucking. What is it? Uh, moose tracks. Where the fuck? Where the fuck is your? Uh, and she goes, oh. And then she does this. And just brushes the hair out of the way, and there's a fucking three needle marks here. Boom. Healed, healed, and new. Right in the jugular. Right, right in, in the, the jugular. jugular. Holy shit, dude! Wow. Right. Wow. Date over. Get in the fucking car. <laughs> I'm out of here. The night's just begun. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, Nick. Oh yeah. In the SmackDown. Well, ladies, if you're out there, my my boy Nick needs some love. He's good. He's fine. He, he's, he's saying he's this. Pretty confident. He's, he's being, he's he's being defensive. He's going to find some nuts bitch out there. He's being defensive. Don't listen. I'll tell you what, buddy. I hear this Tinder does wonders. Yeah, Tinder. Oh, good. Honey, not, buddy. you no, on Tinder? No. Nick, are you on Tinder? I am not. He's on Tinder. Look at him up. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> are you? I'm, I'm not. We need to get you a Tinder profile. I don't, I don't want a Tinder profile. You don't want one? No, I don't like the whole online dating shit. Have well, you done it? We'll no, you've done it. Fuck no. Yeah, we're going to make it Nick a Tinder. And then we'll post it on the Geek Eclectic website. And you guys what? can check it out. No. <laughs> we're not going to post it on the Geek Eclectic website. We're not going to post shit anywhere. We're not making it. <laughs> <laughs> we have some um, uh, very we attractive have ways. Of we, it we have ways of making you talk. We have ways of making you talk, Yes. <laughs> We got some attractive ladies out there that listen. I know we do. Really? Yeah. I know we do. I mean, you... the bone collector ain't listening right now. You sure we got a wow. group of female listeners? We. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't. Hey. I check out the website. Trust me, we have some good-looking ladies out there that listen. I'm. I know. All right. So. There you go, ladies. Do you ever want to? <laughs> if you're into H, you're, if you're into you're shooting heroin, heroin into your neck, and, go neck and having a dude, uh, if your date's going so poorly that you're of you heroin and... in the bathroom, yeah, well, you might like it. Yeah, that's not a story that I've got. Yeah, I don't give that's, a fuck. That, that's an awful. You know what happened up until that point? <laughs> we ordered food. That was it. We There's only one there, way to go we from there. Food. Oh man. She drove there herself. I wouldn't let her drive because she was high as shit. Yeah, man. I didn't care. Oh, my God. Wow. So anyway. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Nick's looking for love. No, he's, he's looking for not insane. 
it would be a nice change of pace. I hear you. I hear you, bud. Not a Nick's love life. Or lack thereof has been discovered. <laughs> discussed. Oh, we've discussed this a few times. <laughs> what's next What's next on the topic for you guys? <laughs> oh, my God. We've been all over. I mean, what? Yeah. Did we do the Doctor Who special? I haven't watched it yet. You fucking I still need to watch it. I gotta watch. I had to catch up on a lot of shit, dude. All right. I gotta catch up. Distance in this voice. I got this. I gotta catch up on it still. So watch the fucking thing. Well, it's on my list. So I I I, I was actually I've been watching the show called Peaky Blinders on on Netflix. It's pretty good. I'll get to it. Jesus Christ. Go shoot some H up in the bathroom, Nick. Come on, man. I don't do that kind of shit. I don't know. I. Oh, I watched Gotham. Gotham. I watched that the other day. That's, I that's back. One. That was good. That was um, good. Arrow's not back yet, but I saw a preview for it. Twenty first. And they they confirmed that Oliver's Oliver's dead. So we're gonna see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, T. Well, everything's kind of been on hold because you know with, with uh, the holidays and, and New Year's and all the show, all like all the TV shows are pretty much coming back now. But um, yeah, I've been watching Netflix and just watching some. Watching a lot of different stuff. Uh, I I will watch. To, I have a lot to watch. That's the problem. When does the next season of House of Cards come back out? Ooh. Probably next year. Slash this year. I thought it was. You think so? Oh yeah, this, this year. year. I'm still in the last yeah. year phase of talking, saying next year for sure. The time. We need more Frank Underwood. Yeah, that's a, that's a really entertaining show. Yeah. I don't watch a ton of TV, but that's, that's that a, was. That's uh, good. I mean, Kevin Spacey kills it. Oh yeah. My God, yeah, I love like how he breaks the fourth wall and he like looks at the like he looks at you like he looks out and he's just like <laughs> like somebody will say something stupid and he just looks out at you like what oh has my he God done poorly nothing what movie or what yeah anything in is, general is there anything you can think of where he just played a terrible role or <sighs> I can't think of one you know what I love the American you know, I think the thing he's been Kaiser worse. Sose man Come oh, on. oh that was great Kaiser Sose um. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, he was fucking hilarious. On that. Fucking yeah, child. Playing opposite two of his idols. <laughs> you company man. You fairy. Who ever told you you could work with men? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Um, what was I? I was scrolling past this one movie. He was in a movie with like uh, Dennis Leary, the ref. I saw that that, that one. The ref's good. That does that, that, that was a good that one. That was actually pretty goddamn good movie. Yeah. Does doesn't he do a voice and a role in Call of Duty? Is it the, the new Call yeah. of Duty? Yeah, yeah he's actually in the game. Yep. He's in the game. That has potential to be shitty. Although I haven't yeah. seen it. Call of Duty's kind of. He was fine. I've lost one of Call of Duty. I haven't seen Does it, he go? It's limited access. So I mean, so is he a different character? Is he just like Kevin he's not Spacey? Frank he owns his I'm own Kevin game. Spacey. I'm in this game. Bitch, I'm here. I'm President uh, Kevin Spacey, no, and I'm he, talking uh, like Frank Underwood. He runs the Advanced Warfare Division. <laughs> uh, we're on the Advanced Warfare. He's the one that controls the. He basically has a military adjunct that's not actually part of the military. That's kind of private contractor. He's the guy that runs that. Now, nah, boys, listen here. Blackwater. I got I like you. Blackwater. Now, boys, listen here. I got you some new exo suits. Now, don't scratch the paint on them. I paid a, a dear, dear a lot of money on this, so please don't fuck it up. Thank you very much. Frank Underwood. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I totally forgot he was in that game too. I don't, know, he, I don't think the guy's had a bad role. Unless you guys out there don't think of anything, email uh, I us. I don't know. One movie that was not that good that he was in, and it wasn't a terrible movie. Was yeah. Superman Returns. As Lex Luthor? He was Lex Luthor, but he still was fucking great. He, he's the best Lex Luthor. He wasn't the best. He's still, well, he was great. He was, he was top three. Yeah. I know you're his favorite, Michael Rosenbaum. He seems but. a little bit out of his uh, range. Yeah. yeah. He, always wanted, he always wanted to be a villain yeah. in something. And that was like... The, he fucking he stabbed. He was villain in that. Stabbed fucking Superman in the side, man. Yeah. He was a hands-on Lex Luthor. He really he was. was. Well, very he's aggressive. A shitty human being in House of Cards, as we mentioned. Yeah, he's not exactly. He's uh, very good at playing shitty human beings. <laughs> uh, oh, shitty human being role. It's old. <laughs> Give me that role. I got the guy. I got. Uh, I know a guy. <laughs> Last name Spacey, first name Kevin. <laughs> uh, what about that Kate? Do you guys remember K Pax? You remember that one? Yeah, I like that. I like that one. I thought it was interesting. That was one of those movies I used to was, like to get stoned and watch when I was in college. Yeah. 
made me feel good. He's in K-Pax. He was in so many. What else was he in? Yeah, he's an alien. He's, or it's on, it's open, right? He might have been an alien. He might have been a crazy guy. Ooh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I haven't seen that in years. He was, yeah. I, I think he was an alien. Uh, what else was he in, man? He was, he was in a lot of stuff. A lot of, in the 90s. I mean, he had a lot of uh, different movies. I mean, he blew up. Um, God Almighty! I'm not gonna look this. Yeah, I don't know. I unless I don't unless I have like an IMDb or something in front of me. Oh gosh, he, he's been in a ton of shit. Yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah, Kaiser Sose, man. Oh my God. Oh Lordy. Well, hang on a second. Uh-oh. I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> Next, I'll look at something. He's, he's looking up some girls. <laughs> he's looking up hgirls.com. He's currently faces on Tinder right now. Yeah, he's looking at Tinder Tinder dates. Some of you ladies sending him some t- Tinder uh, Tinder messages. So it's a teaser for fucking Pizza Three House. Really? Yeah. Now, it's what? Now, what? It's February, I believe, twenty fifth. Now, at at the end of uh, the the second season. February 27th is the initial date for Pizza Day's oh. release. Oh, shit. February 27th. Dude. Now, if you guys remember at the end of it, what's his uh, aide? What was his aide's name? The one bald guy. Dead guy in the woods. Yeah. No, it was, uh, what's his name? Dead guy in the woods. Did he be with an S, maybe? Solomon. Skinner? No. Sk- <laughs> Why did I say Skinner? The cigarette smoking man. <laughs> I'm the cigarette smoking man from X Files. I have been watching a lot of X Files, by the way. I love X Files. I kind of figured you did. I don't know why. Even I just love it. I've made I've made random X Files. Spooky jokes Mulder, man. This is just one of the things. Stamper. 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 Skinners. All right, we were close. It began it with an S. S. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, Do you think he's dead? Do you think he's dead? I don't know. I want to. I hope. I want to. I hope he's alive. He wasn't. He wasn't that bad. If he's alive, he's got some fucked up. He's gonna be. He's gonna be, gonna he's gonna be a vegetable. You think? No, he's not gonna be a vegetable. Yeah. He's gonna be like. Oh, they found him in the woods three weeks later. And his heart was severely damaged. He's on a transplant list soon. <laughs> That's an amazing story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, damn. What else was he in? Was he in, like, L.A. Noir? Kevin Spacey, just a voice? LA Maybe. I thought so. He was in L.A. Law? Back in the fucking 80s? L.A. Law? Giles Keenan. <laughs> Giles Keenan played by Kevin Spacey. That's fucking amazing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this guy's been in the game for a while. Good lord. Yeah. Austin Grace, Joe Why don't you put a mic on Colin for a second while he tells these things? Consenting uh-huh. adults, Tribeca, Iron Will, The Ref, Doomsday Gun, Swimming with Sharks. Oh, That's a good seven. Like seven. Seven yeah. was great. And seven. Holy shit! Outbreak, oh, yeah. Any, anytime you put wow. what, what, what's the he wasn't like Anytime you put Cameron too. Diaz's head in the box, I'm oh. happy about it. Was in the box. Oh god. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil was the movie. Oh, wow. That was where he probably got his Frank Underwood. That's out. probably. Oh, you know, I, <laughs> the I'm Frank Underwood. Back to Midnight. Southern gentleman in that movie too. I think so. He's really got the Southern gentleman no, he's thing got, down. He's got the he ability does. to do anything now. We're not a hillbilly. Yeah. It's, it's, very, though, it's very sophisticated. Yeah. It's, he's got the South Carolina draw. Yeah. Well, yeah. But he, <laughs> he did the Southern draw. No, he has an innate... Like, <laughs> he did southern draw You don't get to see it a lot, but he does. He has an innate ability to do voices. Like, it's incredible. Yeah. Like, he, he does everybody. Jack Lemmon, fucking Pacino, everybody. He does them all, and he's fucking amazing at it. But how often does he have the need to use that talent? It's just something he pulls out when oh, he's yeah. on fucking shows. 21. Yeah, I remember that one, too. That was a good one. I think the, uh, the card counting or whatever, I think it was about, or something like that. Oh, my God. Yeah, man, he was in a lot of shit. Horrible yeah, horrible bosses. and I haven't seen Horrible Bosses 2 yet. I heard it's pretty much like the first one. Except so... the second one. Yeah, except it's got a two at the end. <laughs> kind of like Taken. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I would see that. Did you realize there's still a Taken three actually coming out? I didn't realize no. that. It's out, it's out right now. now. Jesus, Christ. I will find you. I'm going to see it. 
Are yeah, you? I really? want to see that. Are you fucking serious? You're gonna go see it? So okay, I'm in this one, Mason, but I'm thinking, Jesus Christ. In this one, I think they spoiler alert. They kill his wife. They kill his wife and, and kill his daughter. And, no, you see that in yeah, I didn't and, see and anything. I just heard it. Well, they think he's been framed, and they're they're coming after him. I'm gonna get you. He's like he calls his daughter. He's like they're coming for me. This is what I want you to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have a particular set of skills, skills I've acquired over years of training. And he's talking to like that one dude, uh, Forrest Whitaker or some shit, the guy with the messed up eye. <laughs> good, good luck. Oh man, yeah, that's that's gonna be an. Epic I didn't one. kill my. <laughs> I didn't kill my wife. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. He fucking Peter Pan off the goddamn dam there, man. <laughs> I swear to God, I actually thought that the the, the preview that they had before. Yeah. Why are people always taking my shit? <laughs> he's a pretty he's a pretty bad um I was gonna say he's gonna be a pretty bad dad if he lets his daughter get taken again. Like Jesus dude. I don't know how many times I how have my, my daughter taken off from me. You got three movies worth of fucking with you. Yeah. Not like it's not like Die Hard where it's yeah. like, oh man, the situation well, you walked into incidentally is the problem. It, it's like we're fucking targeting your ass. It, except for three on Die Hard, which is they did target him for that. In one. this movie, they're going for more of like a born identity type feel, like the, like a guy on the run, that kind of shit. To which that is but, probably one of the best best fucking fighting movies of all time. It's up there. I didn't realize how fucking amazing but, a. Uh, uh, don't a, don't you dare pen, discount Leslie ne- Neeson, man. He's the fucking. I didn't realize man. how deadly a pen could be. Or Liam Neeson. <laughs> did you just call Leslie? <laughs> I did. <Leslie Neal? laughs> I, ser- I just did. He was amazing in, in, in uh, Naked Gun. Naked Gun. The best pen from the movie. Oh shit. Pencil. That yeah. Was pencil. But. He's fucking fighting this other guy who's just about as good a fighter as he is in the fucking uh, fr- in the French bungalow thing. He's at the apartment building. Yeah. And he's fighting with a goddamn blue pen and fucking this guy up severely with it. He just draws an insult to injury. He kills him and just with like a big draws pen. a big pen. Yeah. Yeah. He, he kills him with a tape the cap off. He once. kills him with a big and then draws on it. Draws like a dick on his he face does. or he something. He runs and... out the window. Remember? Oh. He runs his ass out the window onto the balcony and flops over. So he he draw, it just draws out. on his face. I killed you. Or I'm dead. <laughs> I killed Bye. myself. Signed, dead guy with he pen did. stabs. I committed suicide and I wrote on my head backwards. <laughs> oh man. I used the mirror. I used a mirror. I did it very delicately <laughs> and with girly <laughs> handwriting. <laughs> oh man. Ah oh, shit. Red rum. Red rum. Oh, that's another good one. Oh, God. Mad mom. Oh, boys. Well, you think that's going to do it tonight? I th- we've covered everything. We didn't discuss. We solved, I think we solved the world's problems. We, didn't we seriously Pierce did. Pierce Brosnan in uh, Mars Attacks, though. Maybe that's best left for another time. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. If you guys want to check out our website, you can check us out at geekecpodcast.wordpress.com. Email us at G. Uh, Jesus Christ! Hang on. <laughs> at Geek Easy Podcast at gmail dot com. Check uh, us out on Facebook or YouTube as well. And Twitter. If you, if honestly, if you're listening right now, you've already done most of that. Yeah. Forward so it to your friends. We, for God's sakes, write this shit down, uh, <laughs> so we don't have to keep telling you. That brings us uh, to a close. Yeah. Much. I'd like to thank Colin uh, any, here. Any words you want to say? Lastly. Hang on. Oh, no, it's been fun, and I look forward to, uh, in the future, putting some videos up yeah. for you guys and do a little review to let you guys see uh, how, how to kick ass in whatever shooter I play. You're going to be seeing a lot or, more of this guy. Or get my ass kicked. <laughs> Either or. We can always use a good rage. Oh, gosh. That, All right. That, that I can guarantee. I know you can. Oh, boy. From, from the damage totals, I will guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that brings it to an end for us, so for me. Pat Benatar says wrap up. Bye bye. All right, you guys. Take it easy. We are young. Heartache to heartache. Hell. Hell is for children. <laughs> we are. Love oh, is a Lord. battlefield. See you guys. Wrap up. Bye bye. Dwelling a new escape. 